in yeah. the fucking Manson family. Oh, that looks so weird. Big, massive, fat, knobby sticker, fat, knobby sticker. That's funny. That's no Australian way. culture. Evidently. What are you drinking? What are you drinking? <laughs> Do a little dance. Do a little dance. <laughs> and then my account gets suspended. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Skeptic and the Dude podcast. G'day, guys. Welcome to episode 27 of The Skeptic and the Dude. We have a very special guest today, don't we, Joel? Yes, we do. He's a stand-up comedian and YouTuber. He's worked in radio broadcasting, podcasting. His shows include The Luke and Lewis Show, which we're very big fans of here. And uh, Memoirs of a White Guy. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Luke Kidgel. Woo! <laughs> guys, how you doing, it's great Luke? to be here. Glad to have you, man. I have one question to begin. Yep. And I'm yeah. sorry, because I know it's I'm probably supposed to be answering the questions. You're supposed to be asking them. Right, go for it. Who is the skeptic? Who is the dude? <laughs> we have to I know. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay can so I you guess? Were, you were can I guess? Go for it. You were I was saying this over, today. Over this, yeah. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I you know bet what? you he's going to say this as soon as we start. Yeah. He's going to ask. And you know what? Can I guess? Yeah. And I think people might be surprised by my guess. Okay. Because I switched at last minute. Right. <laughs> I was going to guess the other way. Just on the yeah. way in the car thing and oh, which one could it be? I think... I was going to say you're the skeptic and you're the dude, but you seem very skeptical about me asking you the question and oh, you seem like more okay. of a dude about it. Swi- yep, switch. Well, Are you the skeptic? Well, okay, we'll, we'll you get your arms we'll folded. Expl- we'll, ex- we'll explain <laughs> it to you. We'll explain it. So, um, basically, <laughs> we're both the skeptic and the dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Okay, that's a great show, guys. <laughs> You're fired, man. No. Oh yeah, but we got Billy behind yeah, the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should make that. Yeah, um, he's the and. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's yeah, right. He's the yeah. and. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I yeah. just come. I just want to leave. I just come for the fun. Why are you here? <laughs> Just the right. just the first buttons. Well, He's just we'll sitting see. there like <laughs> and all he did was press record him on camera. That's it. Do you guys be here? No, no this, oh. is, this is just today because cool. we thought the thing is that camera there, it's eight years old. It only records for twelve minutes, uh, and right. you know we thought. <laughs> yeah, right. Is yeah. that is that camera cutting off the? No, it's not. You framed it well. I know these guys mucked around the, the last camera. minute. Yeah, go. It's all good. If it is, I'm sorry. I'm here for one reason. Drew, if it is, imagine if you managed to fuck that up. Quiet. <laughs> <laughs> just you, totally They up can't here. fire you. You don't work. <laughs> they can just right. kick you yeah. out. I yeah. guess. Exactly, man. Yeah. Or, you, or you leave on your own terms. Oh, fuck this, guys. I'm yeah. sick. Right, yeah. See you, Billy. No. So, um, skeptic dude. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. So, uh, on the first episode, we were kind of trying to explain it. But we thought we've got such a dude attitude and sometimes skeptic attitude. We thought it could be depending on whatever the topic is, whatever the yeah, episode right. is. One might be a little more skeptical, and the other one might more be like, "Well, hey man, like that's and just your opinion, dude." Like, yeah, yeah. and you put on an American voice for, yeah. for that. That's it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah, so yeah. that's usually when I have an opinion, I uh, put on an American voice. Yeah, but that's why I'm very unopinionated about stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's that's great. It's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. It was the one thing I said. I was like, I bet you as soon as we start, it's going to be <laughs> yes. like, who's the skeptic? Because we get that question. And yeah, fair enough. You fair know enough, what? It's a very unoriginal thing of me to say. And I apologize. No, no, no. I just had to know. It's all good. It's all good. Well, now you know. So so now it's good to know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah well, the cat's out of the bag, man. No, it is very I mean, much yeah, out of the bag. We did say it. I think it was very early in the podcast thing, but mm. no but one because that. yeah, when people are tuning so, into the better episodes, yeah yeah, 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 and just watch the highlights and stuff. So yeah, exactly. Usually, yeah, it's easy to miss. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Hey, four minutes in, and we haven't had any slip ups. That's a good sign. What, what do you mean? Like it hasn't hasn't stopped oh. on the on, on the audio. Oh. Oh, Not the slip up. Like, no, 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 celebrate no. that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well done, everyone. We are four minutes uh, in. I just thought I'd, I'd cut in and say the cameras aren't rolling. I've turned them off. Don't you fuck do around like that, Matt. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> that's right. And that, the camera guy is making jokes. I was going to say, can I say, that was your first slip up. That's right. <laughs> Allowing your mate to come <laughs> here and talk. <laughs> Inviting me was their first slip up. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, that was the first oh. issue. Now, so anyway, back to our guest. Yeah. We've, it, kind, of, yeah. we've, kind, of, we've kind of made this uh, a topic of... of breaking down the essence of this podcast when really... I'm happy to stay on this for 40 minutes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I can say it if you want. Yeah. Um, yeah. What's what? What things are you most skeptical about? <sighs> All right, back to you. So uh, <laughs> you're a um, good call. Yeah, <laughs> now, uh, we, we've uh, yeah big fans of the Luke and Lewis show. Oh, that's very we, um And we came and saw you. I think it was April last year at the Melbourne Comedy Festival. Yes. When you're doing the tambourine tour. Tambourine tour. And uh, you signed our special friends uh, forward. 
at the time. Right. <laughs> yeah, put a picture up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did he catch the train home like that? Yes, he did. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. You, you get many, many like that? I've got a few, and that's how I remember it. I usually yeah, get okay. one a year. One a year, there's always a, <laughs> a bold out. young man, yeah, never yeah, a woman. Yeah. There's always a bold young man <laughs> with his life ahead of him going, can you please sign my forehead? <laughs> yeah. And it's... I, were you, there was one I did with a permanent marker, and I have no idea how it turned out. That okay. Him. Yeah, that was him. Think, listen, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, come yeah, off, yeah. Yeah, the permanent marker. yeah usually yeah, it's a right. Sharpie vibe, but you're, yeah, maybe it was him. <laughs> he just went for it. I remember yeah. thinking... Fuck, I'll be glad I'm not here. the next day all the way. Yes. It was like, like birthmarks mm. is what he told me. Yeah, That's good. Yeah, it was for a few days. It was yeah. like an indent of my signature <laughs> yeah. on his forehead. What a regret. I yeah. remember him saying, I'm going to ask him to sign my forehead. I'm like, yeah? I'm like, you're not going to chicken out, yeah? And he yeah. goes, no, no, I'll do it. And then right before he goes, oh, I'm not going to do it. I'm like, mate, you've come this far. You've got to do it. Yeah, that's it, right. Man. And actually, we almost nearly missed that because the security guard took us out. Yeah, he threw we, us. Because we had the problem when we came in. We were a bit late, so we were one of the losers who were at the top because we came in late. would sucked. It was actually good though, because we we were kind of on another level. No, I and sat up there for a couple of the yeah. Fairburn Boys shows, and it was like I don't know, it was fine, but mm. I just felt like I was watching them perform to, to another the, yeah, audience. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. like I was really trying to look up, but yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. you forget it because it's it was like a a second story of like a theater kind of amphitheater thing, mm. and it was way higher than a regular second story yeah. should be in okay. one of those venues. Yeah. So I'm on yeah. stage and I'm like talking to the crowd, which is below me. And then I forget that there's people up there, and I'm like, and I uh, dir- start directing jokes. But you can't start lobbing jokes in the air. It's yeah, weird. Right. It, yeah. And then yeah. you miss like the 150 people that are below you, mm-hmm. and it's like, what's he looking up at? It's yeah, high, you know, yeah. The people yeah. on the floor don't even realize that there's people up there. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah. Well, see, we we didn't even realize that there was going to be a second story. We thought, oh, sorry, Zach Wild comes in and goes, sorry, it's all full down here. We thought, yeah. oh shit, I guess we got to go home now. And then Frenchie <laughs> comes by. With a beer in his yeah. hand, goes, yeah, go upstairs, boys. And we're in there, thought, oh, thanks, Frenchie. <laughs> Frenchie called me on the way here, actually. I <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> yes. Um, anyway, but that's, uh, what I was going to say is, that you know you're a keen fan when you know our tour manager's name. But you know his first and last name. Yeah. Well, the Red Beard and is the nickname, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm impressed. Although, actually, I, didn't, I actually didn't know that until a few months later when he started featuring in more of uh, Isaac yeah, Butterfield's right. videos. But Ah, um, uh, yes, that's right. But, yeah. No, so that that was that was interesting that night because we had we were not expecting to see the Fairburn boys when we walk in getting photos with people, uh, Josh Wade coming out to tell us where to go, then Frenchie yeah. directing us up. He's my manager. And, Do you know? That? Okay, yeah, yeah, Josh, not Frenchie. Oh, come no, on. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that guy out there yeah. and give it your best mate. <laughs> Just hands you a shoe. <laughs> God damn, Dude, no. just on stage for me. Yeah. Um, yeah, Josh is no longer um, doing comedy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so moved on to management. Moved on to uh, bigger and better things. Yeah, okay, that's good. Instead of YouTube videos. Yeah, fair enough. But I'm still playing in that field. Because mm. I guess there was plenty no, of things. Bigger and better things yet. No. <laughs> I have no aspirations to do better things. I've hit my <laughs> peak. Uh, no, if you're enjoying it, that's Yeah, that's exactly. Thing, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you had fun. Thank yeah. you very much for coming, boys. And we also good, um, came to the, uh, the Loogies. The end of last year. Oh, you, no that, way. That was exciting That's for the fun. first yeah, annual yeah, yeah, movies. Yeah. We were hyping that up a lot. We, yeah. we even brought a couple of mates who had no idea who Luke and Lewis mm. was. They'll fuck it, boys, just come. They'll, that you know, would have been obscure. Now, for those people <laughs> who listen to this who don't know who the fuck I am, um, the Loogies is a, was the end of year awards um, now of our show Luke and Lewis. Yep. We did an end of year awards, you know, best guest, best segment, stuff like that. Um, we did it in a venue in Melbourne, and some people accused us of racking the name from the Logies. Those people are correct. And, um, <laughs> but hard to tell. I was, and um, yeah, it was... If you didn't listen to our show before that, it would have been a very confusing mm, night. Yeah. Because we came out dressed in Christmas... Christmas gear, yeah. ...suits. Yep. But, like, they were <laughs> summer suits. That's right, yeah. Uh, so festive blazers, festive little shorts... And very in jokey kind of stuff. Mm. Like we're giving away awards for like best segment of the yeah. year. And if your friends who had never listened to our show before, mm. they're like, "Well, why?" I don't. And, really and, get and that it. could have even been a problem even for anyone maybe who may have came in halfway. Because there were still a lot of things that, yeah. oh, that you know, or, or hearing from Chicken Imp. I go. Yeah, that event was every... problematic yeah. from start to finish. Chicken Imp, we're not going to give you the award. Fuck off. <laughs> Second nomination, Luke Kitchell for following up Lewis's abortion joke about the fog bit with, yes, it's the coat hanger of comedy.
chant fog bit. So would you say that maybe the fog bit could be utilised at abortion clinics? <laughs> you boys didn't like that one? No, yeah. I didn't like that one. I think there'll be a couple of sickos in the sound off Some people that call that. it the coat hanger of comedy. <laughs> And that's yeah. it. I'm glad yeah. you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, it was a good night. But it actually went very well. It yeah. was very fun. I think mm. people just got into it. Like, yeah, yeah, by the yeah, end exactly. anyway. And especially Keelan's five minute oh, yeah. at the start, <laughs> and we all had just been, all right, let's all stand up because he yeah. told us to, you know. Stand up, debut. So, yeah. Mm. Did you uh, enjoy his five minutes? Um, I, I enjoyed it. <laughs> Maybe the, uh, the quick. <laughs> like, um, yeah, I've got to pick this apart. Yeah, you know? it was yeah. great. Like a, yeah. Well, I, I feel like this is going to be a more sceptical part. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, it seemed like... It, it, Killer, it by was... the way, is not a comedian. He's our video editor. <laughs> that's right. So he yeah. should make be doing comedy. That's right. But he make, 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 make it seem like we're shitting on a professional comedian here, but no. No, no. So, yeah, I felt the... Because uh, of all of his D's nuts bits, mm-hmm. I just was just yeah, milking the shit out of those. But then as soon as he started going, Hi, my name's Luke... I look like every guy ever, that and then started good. combining yeah, yeah. You, know, you and Lewis. There was there's three parts to his act. Um, the first part is doing D's nuts jokes. Uh, an example would be, um, uh, is your name Candace? And they'd be like, no, can D's nuts fit in your mouth? Um, I can keep going, but I'm not going to because you yep. get the idea. There's about two to three minutes of that. That's like is the majority of the set. Then um, brings a kid up on stage. Does the old what's that- that on your shirt? That no. one's good. He brings up a volunteer. <laughs> uh, he gets him. And I told him to do Smell the Cheese, but he didn't want to. Um, which is some great schoolyard humour <laughs> that I think he missed. And then... Yeah, then he transitions into, like, uh, stealing Lewis and I's bits. So yeah. he'll just word for word copy popular jokes that Lewis and I have done in the past. To the point where he'll even say, Hi, I'm Luke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to deliver the joke. Didn't he stuff up Lewis's joke or something? Like he said, "Hi, I'm Luke," and then he said Lewis's joke. Yeah, he goes, "Hi, I'm Luke, and I'm six foot eight tall." <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. like, "You are an idiot." <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. He did his best. And then the second part of, uh, oh, sorry, the third part and the final, the closer is um him telling a story about jacking off on the floor <laughs> in the house of his exchange family when he was in America, oh, and he got busted. On the floor like a dolphin, <laughs> um, just going at it on the tiles, and <sighs> that's a closer if I've ever heard one. That's good stuff. Yeah. And then he tackled uh, this random American kid when he was naked to the ground. <laughs> it's like American pie. Yeah, pretty much. Australian American pie. It's literally yeah. as embarrassing as fucking a pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now while we're on the subject of Keelan, how is his health? I thought you were say we're on yeah. the subject of um, ruining pies <laughs> with your penis. <laughs> Yeah, well, Keelan's Mealans. I, I haven't seen an upload in a week. Is he kind of... Is he working Mate. on them, or is his health just kind of taking a decline? You'd have to talk to the man himself. Yeah. Would you like me to get him on the phone? Do you want an exclusive, or you don't want him? Sure. Do, do, do you want him? We should... Um, no. Did you, no. Did you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. That's it. He's Great, right, it's done. sorted. All right. <laughs> uh, you'd have to ask the, the man himself. He's trying to get his watch time up. Oh, okay. He's trying to get his watch time to... Four th- I think it's 4,000 minutes or hours. I don't right. know what it is. To get monetized. Is that, and is that by him oh. replaying the videos over and over again each he, night? Yeah, he tells yeah. people to watch them twice. Yeah. He also live streams for no reason. He live streamed for three and a half hours the other night to try and get up some watch time. <laughs> okay. um, pretty embarrassing stuff because there was about yeah. 20 people watching by the end. Uh, he mm-hmm. kept calling me because he ran out of content to talk about. Um, I was doing the dishes and I was just recording myself washing, washing the dishes. dishes. Now, if that's yeah. not padding, I don't know what <laughs> it is. That is not good. <laughs> Well, on the subject of live streaming, that 24-hour live stream you did for Luke and Lewis, mm. like, so, so Joel and I, like and we were, yeah, we, just... yeah, yeah, but so we, we, we were tuning in right from the start, I'm thinking, yep, we're going to be in the whole way through. No. The amount of issues you had with, like, Oh, yeah, yeah, we didn't delayed. get the live stream actually sorted until about eight, eight hours in, yeah. which is classic Luke and Lewis fashion. Mm. We usually don't think about an idea much until we start executing it and it mm. starts going poorly. We're more like, um... Fixes. Yep. We like, instead of preventing things, we just like go, oh, we should have thought about this more before. And then I think part of the appeal of the show is watching us figure shit out. Yeah. I mean, also very frustrating to be mm. able to watch, like you guys were watching it probably like, this sucks. 
No, no, no. Well, I was, I was enjoying it. I thought it was um, it cut out about eight times. You've been very polite. <laughs> <flat. laughs> and I think I let's see. I think I fell asleep around two o'clock just before the first roll call. I think I'm impressed I was, that you made it that long. Yeah, that's still like well, five hours. Well, so you we were trying to yeah, save so, so, for the roll call, but then right. the whole thing. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys happened. bowed out early. I think I must have deleted you guys. Yeah, there would have been it, yeah. Because yeah, I remember, because Joel was like, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm like, all right, Joel, I'm going to call you at four o'clock to see if it gets to better or whatever, yeah. yeah. But then I, I thought, oh, I might have a sleep too, so I set the alarm for four o'clock. Alarm <laughs> goes off, I go, call Joel, no answer from Joel, and I just, I think I just dropped the phone and We're fell back, back to, to sleep bed. again, yeah. and then, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and then but, did you see, like, did you tune back in the next day to see how dead we were looking? Yes. yes. Yeah, that yeah. would have been the interesting mm. part, like... Just watching us deteriorate mm. over the course of yeah. 24 hours was, I think, the most interesting part about it. Yeah. It was Lewis like, fell was asleep it? twice. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah. Then, then you get the, yeah, the old yeah. horn. Yeah, and I, I'm honked yeah. in with the horn. Yeah. Pretty, it's the heart of comedy. <laughs> the living room. <laughs> Zach on the living room. It's <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, because I think then when I tuned back in the next morning, then that was when, which I got used to pretty quickly, it was a this delay of about five seconds. If I'm even, I think it even extended ten seconds. The oh. rest of the thing, until Probably. you took it outside and Ruben started doing backflips, that was when it went back into sync. Is in the was audio it, delay. Yeah, with the video. I think that was oh. the, you're hearing the audio before the action. So, so I'd <laughs> See, I didn't think we even knew about that issue. That shows you how many issues <laughs> yeah. were happening. Yeah. You've just pointed out an issue four weeks afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so I see Keelan, like I hear Keelan piss himself laughing. And then he, and, and then I, then I see like him in the laugh. video form okay. do it yep. 10 seconds later. But so you don't have a, so, but that's, isn't that amazing about how little our audience gives a shit about quality? <laughs> Is like we yeah. we can do anything. Like that's how low the standard was. Like people were watching us five seconds out of sync, and no one stink sync. Yeah, um, people watching us five minutes out of sync, and mm. no one was commenting that. Yeah, people were just like, oh, they're doing their best. Just let them yeah, go. Exactly. <laughs> people probably just felt bad for us. <laughs> probably in the end, but yeah. Well, it is difficult to get a you know mm. a whole stream go up for like twenty four hours and not have any difficulties. You know, keep yeah. it nice and fresh the whole time, and it's no. Like- you know, oh, probably, yeah, I mean, we didn't realise that, like, streaming off Wi-Fi was a really bad idea, so then we, like, got a podcast listener who's in our Discord that we, he's been coming to shows for ages, and he's, like, mm. he's, his name's Whitey in the Discord, um, he's not a white supremacist, I know that sounds bad, <laughs> okay, bad time to have a nickname called Whitey, he's, <laughs> his last name is White, so it's acceptable, yeah. right? Yeah. And, uh, he came over in the middle of the night, um, he's actually from Furniture Galley. Um, oh, came over to Frankston in the middle of the night at 3 a.m. He's got kids, yeah. right? He's got better shit to do. Yeah. And he came and ran an Ethernet cord all down the house, through the backyard. It was hectic yeah, stuff. Oh, well, okay. And I saved the day. So then the improved. Because he does live it, streaming for a living, doesn't he? Does he does esports. Okay. A lot yeah, more right. high standard stuff. Oh, yeah, than yeah, we yeah, yeah, yeah. That wouldn't, he yeah. thought this mm. was like, he just thought it was funny. He was like, dude, this is so funny how shit you guys <laughs> are doing this. And he just wanted to help. Uh, he didn't want a payment at the end. We tried to pay him, and then we ended up just buying him a bunch of alcohol because okay. he didn't want payment. Yeah, fair enough. He That's makes... the best payment. Yeah. 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 Frank Rob. I mean, you are you guys giving him, like, a beer at the end? No, yeah. not even. You are shouting the beers tomorrow night. What do you mean? Yeah, it sounds like a good plan. Fuck. It's yeah. A, I'm today's, getting low. <laughs> today's Tuesday. What do you guys do on Wednesday? Every day's Friday. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That is why you don't get paid much. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah. At least you're a functioning one. That's good. That's right. That's what I like to say. Yeah. Yeah. So, how many years have you been doing stand-up? Because I know I think I started. Like a lot of people tend to know you through through that. You don't own me, yes. Vine. But you, you you were doing community radio before that. Yeah, I was doing Sin, Sin at Sin, RMIT. Yeah. Um, in 2015, yeah, and I think that video went viral in like 2017. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So I was like doing stand up since yeah 2015. Mm. I started. I think people think I did videos second. No, no. So people thought I did stand up second. Yeah. Like most YouTubers do. Like I have a YouTube channel now. I'm gonna try and do stand up comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing stand up first, and then I started like while I was doing stand up, I was like oh, I should make a YouTube channel because mm. I was a fan of um like Lewis, uh, Elliot Loney. Frenchie, Josh Wade, Alex Williamson, yeah. Troy Kinney, like all these guys that were doing it back in the day. It was so funny, man. Frenchie hates it because he's like ancient, right? He's like the oldest man in Australian <laughs> comedy. He's a fossil at this point. Right? He's, he's rotting. You can see it in the videos. Right? Um, he, uh, 
he's so old that I bring it up to him I'm like dude you were my favourite comedian in year 7 <laughs> and he actually was which is so brutal yeah. for him because I think he started actually that's not true I think he started in 2011 or 12 okay. and I was in year 9 or 10 then right pretty sucks for him yes yeah. now we're friends and <laughs> he thinks that is very insulting yeah yeah. Fair enough. Well, I think I remember seeing... And he'll hate that. I hope he doesn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I think I discovered him in about... I was in year nine, sort of in about 2016. Yeah. I think because I, I was kind of yeah getting into some of his, his skits. I think that. I was, like, really into it. Like, yeah. I think I discovered people before I should have. I think I was really into Alex Williamson. I thought he was so funny. I still do. He's mm. hilarious. Because he was kind of one of the earliest sort of Australian Dude, the loosest starting... Aussie bloke video went yeah. so viral in, like, mm. 2011, 2012. Yeah. I remember that video and it blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, like this is hilarious. And mm. no one was doing YouTube for Australia yeah, yeah. at the time. Like you were just watching people from America. America and mm. England. And yeah, England. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it was like, he was the first guy that was like, he just he was just living in this shithole in Adelaide, <laughs> making videos about living in Adelaide. And mm. everyone was like, damn, this is my life. Yeah. You know, just he was doing videos about doing the washing. Like no one was doing that stuff. I think I just thought it was hilarious. And, um... Then, yeah, then I decided to do it myself. He's, how arrogant is that? <laughs> to watch someone and go, I could do that. Could do that, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's inspiring. Inspired you to do it. Yes. Make good content, you know? Yeah. Uh, Alex was, I think, my favourite. And then I got mm. into Troy Kinney. And then oh, yeah. Troy Kinney oh, yeah, had this yeah. uh, channel back in the day called Priceless Productions. Okay. It was him, Max Price, and Elliot Loney. Yeah. And Max Price and Troy Kinney still make uh, the show Kinney that's on mm. TV. Yeah. So those guys, and Elliot also still does stuff with them. Um, so yeah, I just got into them and then I started doing stand-up and then ended up meeting Lewis and Elliot at this uh, room in Sh- Springvale called oh, Shisha gosh. Comedy. And uh, it was brutal. I've heard there's a pretty tough crowd. Oh yeah. yeah. Just like a bunch of Arabic men with Shisha pipes in their mouth. Yeah. So you, they didn't want to laugh because if they laughed, they coughed. So if you killed in that room, it would just be the whole room coughing. It was so weird. Yeah. Like right. it was like half laugh, half <laughs> spluttering. Because, like, they'd laugh and they'd be like, <laughs> like, just like old men, like, but yeah, also right. choking on a shisha pipe laugh. Because they'd sit there with it in their mouth. Yeah. So they wouldn't want to laugh. They'd have it, like, in their mouth. They'd be like, and then you'd say something funny. They'd be like, because <laughs> they didn't want to take it out of their mouth to laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was, you had to be good. And it probably <laughs> felt like these guys are just here to smoke this shit. Oh, they didn't they're, give a shit yeah. about the comedy. It's, it's just a bit of, bit of something to have in But the they were like, today, and yeah. also because they're like old um, Arabic men, they were really racist towards yeah, okay. white people. Um, that was so much fun. Like, I loved it. Yeah. Like, because I've never experienced <laughs> racism before. <laughs> but I'm a straight white male in Australia. Yeah. Yeah, I was yeah. like, this is, like, I know that's not awesome, experiencing racism, but... It was different. When yeah. it's new, you're like, yeah. well, this is kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> when you can leave and go back to your white suburb and be okay, that's, that, that's fine. Like, that's I didn't it. stay yeah. in Springvale. Mm. <laughs> but um, it was great. Like, they used to be like, I remember one time, there was a guy called Mr. Shafiq, and he used to come there every... Oh, I shouldn't have said his name. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, he's probably dead now. I don't know. He was, <laughs> he was very old. <laughs> but um, he was like, had the best sense of humor, and we ended up getting to know each other quite well over like the years that we go there. Yeah. He used to sit in the same spot every Tuesday oh, right. and just be like, white boy, get off the stage. But like, and he always used to be like, and one time I was like, do you think you could do it better? And he was like, give me the microphone. And I was like, go on, get up here. And he's like, I'm not coming on the stage. And I just like handed him the mic, and he just started telling like these old jokes that like his father probably told him like not yeah. written not original jokes but just started going once there was a man that walked into a store and like everyone dude it was so say bad everyone's in i was gonna say everyone weird. was just <laughs> fucking losing it at his shit and i just had to be like game set match i just got beaten by a seven year old man who's never done comedy in his life <laughs> it was great man so many good memories and then one day i was emceeing and he didn't show up He'd been there every single Tuesday for like a year. No way. And I used to do the room every single Tuesday. So thank fuck the cat's and then, dead. Yeah, that's the thing. I literally got up on stage and I was like, he's dead. And and that was the biggest laugh I ever got. And that oh, was, wow. all these people were like, that's good because he probably is dead. <laughs> oh, that's good. It was, very, it was a great room. I have a lot of good memories from that. I'm actually sad that room. You know, at the time it wasn't fun, but looking back on it now, yeah. fond memories at the time, it was just bombing in front of strangers. Mm. And how old were you then? Because this is uh, the early sort I mean, of... like, 19? Like, yeah, 18, okay. 19? Yeah. And that's when I met Lewis, and we used to do it every week. 
and um, he knew that I was doing some stuff on YouTube and, you know, I wasn't actually, <laughs> I've told Lewis this before, I was like never a fan of the face beef shit. Okay. I thought it was like pretty lame. <laughs> yeah. Because like I had friends in high school mm. and like he didn't and I got that vibe from the videos. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I was like, like I was like a sport guy, like yeah. a footy, like I was like sports captain in year yeah. 12, like just like a guy that, uh, like a entertaining and that stuff, it just wasn't my interest at that age. Like mm. I was like doing athletics and I was really into sports Busy and stuff. peaking in year 12. Yeah, yeah. That was my whole identity was yeah. like just peak now because it's all over and then you're going <laughs> to bomb to like, in, little did I know in two years time, I'd be calling a 70 year old Arabic man dead and getting laughs, <laughs> for it. <laughs> it definitely peaked in year 12. Um, if you're watching this right now, this is just don't peak too early. This is a good kind of example. Great. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I wasn't that much of a fan of... All my friends were massive fans of Lewis. Yeah. Because, like... Remember we got a Karen Affair and stuff? I only found out... Pranking people. Yeah. yeah. I only found out about that stuff through my friends. Yeah. Because they just talk about it at recess. And they'd be like, man, this guy got on... And didn't he go by the name Nebs? Nebs, yeah. And that's the whole spot Nebs and things still is a meme today. Yeah. And then I just, like... I, I, you know, I, I do think it's funny now, like looking yeah. back on it, I'm like, that was pretty clever and funny and like, I respect it. Mm. But at the time I think it just was, didn't interest me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is weird. Like, why would you troll? <laughs> why would you spend all your time on Facebook? Yeah. I was like, you know, when you can run laps around an athletics track, you know, when you're at your peak. <laughs> Superman, popular kid stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that was how I kind of got it, fell into all the YouTuber kind of stuff. Is I just, yeah, okay. I was already doing it when I met Lewis, but then I think I decided to take it seriously from watching those mm. guys kind of do well. And so when did you guys decide then to, to start going to radio together? Like, like was that show kind of... We were like already... Because because we were doing the Shisha Room every yeah. week together, we became pretty good friends. Um, and then I opened for him... So I started comedy in June 2015 and then 2016 at the Comedy Festival in April. So we'd only been friends for maybe like six months. Yeah, right. He asked me to open for him at the Comedy Festival that year and he was on like a 70 60 seater room or something like that and i remember thinking like this is going to be the peak of my existence like n- no one will ever give me an opportunity mm-hmm. like this again i was so excited i was like oh my god at the comedy festival like yeah. that's wow crazy <laughs> and then looking back at it now i'm like i didn't realize at the time anyone can just enter the comedy festival <laughs> like you can just pay 500 bucks and just be in it <laughs> like, yeah. like everyone's so impressed with like oh my god you got mm. a comedy festival show it's like so could you you just gotta yeah. <laughs> fork out money and pay to be in it. <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> um so yeah then i got to do that for him which was very cool and um that's kind of how i got into stand up and working together and then i think he like wanted me in a video one day yeah he was like oh i need someone to do this sketch in a lure review He's like, would you want to be in it? And I remember thinking like, oh my God, this guy has like a hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah. Like I'm famous now. I was like, this is my this life. Is I'm this is where we're Hollywood. Be, yeah. Here I come. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I was thinking this like, fake me too. I was like, dude, I thought I was having like a relapse on the peak. I was yeah. like, I was like, it's Checking happening. Vitals, like- I was like, it's happening again. <laughs> Year 12 wasn't, it's not all over. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And then I properly peaked in 2017 and, um, yeah, and that was the peak. You don't know me was the peak. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, because I think when when I was watching those you don't know me vines, yeah. and I got to the end, and then it had yeah that you were touring that show. I thought, oh, cool, this guy does stand up. Yeah. And then I think at that time, lots of people just saw the video and were like, why is this? Like, what's the show? Like, people didn't know I did stand up. Yeah, but I've been doing stand up for two and a half years, mm. and I was touring the show called You Don't Know Me, and it was based around a, a viral video I did where I, I ignored signs with yeah. like sunglasses on. And these videos have been, like, nuts. Mm. I think I've counted. They've got, like... I w- this was years ago I worked this out, so it's probably more now. But I think I worked out, if we add up all, like, Uni Lad, Lad Bible, all the different shares of it, all yeah. the main ones, it tallied about 600 million wow. views. So, like, yeah. over wow. half a billion. Yeah, because I know, like, I- I'd seen it a lot, even in, like, compilations and that. Like, back when oh, Vine was a big thing. It's all the time. Yeah, and, and I remember at the time looking at that thing, because a lot of it was in amongst all this American stuff. So yeah. I actually didn't realise you were Australian no one until... Did. Yeah. Only people in my suburb realised yeah, okay. that. Like, oh, man, I go to this soccer oval. Mm. Like, where I ignore the signs in my area, people are like, oh, that's at the Woolies. That's at the yeah. Bunnings in my area. Um, but yeah, those videos went crazy big. And it was, like, a bit overwhelming at the time. Because, like, well, I meant nothing. It's You know what? I think that era of the internet is done. Mm. Like, shit never goes that viral anymore. Yeah. Like, when was the last time 
Even like Mr. Beast videos, they get like what? 40, 50 million. You see yeah. videos get 100 million and that's mm. like everyone's seen it. Because mm. Facebook's not a thing anymore. No one watches videos on there. Yeah. When do videos get over across all these social media platforms like half a billion views in like a month? Mm. It, it, it just doesn't it's, happen it's, yeah, anymore. It, it seems like we're kind of... Because now we've moved on to like TikTok. Because there's so like, much... But I think the reason is just because there's so much more content. Mm. The audience is just spread across... With so much. Yeah, across a hundred yeah, times yeah, exactly. the amount of videos that yeah, there was yeah. back in the yeah. day. There was mm. like this glory period where even if you go on Unilad and Lad Bible now, they don't actually post videos like mine anymore. Okay. They won't post like original content. They just yeah, post right. like people like eating shit and yeah. like falling into <laughs> dogs or like dogs attacking other dogs. And right. They just post like Snapchat videos of like people chugging beers and... Yeah. No, like not a, original content doesn't get shared like that anymore. Mm. Which is kind of weird. Except on TikTok. You're right, TikTok. Yeah, because I think like now, yeah, like you said, like there's just... Because like there's probably yeah, people every single day saying, hey, I might start a TikTok and everyone gets on that trend. Yeah. Well, because... That- Think about it, it just multiplies. The way I think about mm. it is like, I watched... So Alex, in my head, was like the first Australian guy to do comedy yeah. and then YouTube. And there was a bunch of people like Lewis and stuff who saw that and were like, all right, I'm going to give that a go. Mm. And then I saw Lewis and Frenchie and stuff, the second wave, Neil, Cole yeah. Hacker, I saw them do it and I was like, okay, I'm going to do this. Yeah, go. And then also, Lachlan Fairbairn was, you know, we didn't know each other at the time, but he mm. was probably about two years after I started... Was like I'm gonna give this a shot, and then from all the people watching me and them now, mm. there's another group of people. It's like this big web, and it keeps more and more people keep yeah. getting inspired, which is awesome, and trying to create what they see and stuff, which is yeah, exactly, exactly what we did. Because mm, so I, I feel think like when just, when I so when I watched, because I remember start I started watching the Fairbairn Boys in their early kind of years when they were yeah. Fairbairn films, and then they're I was actually amazed. my claim to fame. Yeah, okay, I discovered okay. them when they had two thousand likes on Facebook. I'm oh, very happy. Wow. I've sent them yeah. a message, <laughs> and Lachlan was so excited. Yeah, he's like, "Oh my god, man, I've seen you. You don't know." Yeah, because I, I was amazed at seeing <laughs> seeing that. that and now they've got like a million subscribers, and I'm like, <laughs> "Oi, can you put me in a video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you remember me?" Exposure. <laughs> well, see, so a couple of years ago, I remember seeing that where there was a crossover. With them, I think it, it was some skit about them being a couple of inbred boys from Tasmania, and you yeah. and Lewis getting pissed off the way they pronounce stuff. Yes. At that time, I didn't know who Lewis was, so I was thinking, who's this angry biker dude? Mate, show me some fucking respect and say banana properly. Yeah, I'm saying banana. No, yes, that's it. Said that's right. Banana, banana. Yeah, that's right. I said banana. No, no, that's, no banana. You just went back to you banana. Just, you don't know who Lewis was. See, that's at, strange at time, because yeah. like. So, at the time, Lewis was probably way bigger than me. It's just funny how people find Yeah, yeah, people. exactly. Well, I think you say that a lot on the show. Sometimes if you're out in public, some might go, Hey, Nebs, how you doing? And yeah. they don't know who they you did, are. They like, go, Hey, bro, you can know. you take a photo? Yeah. And then, like, all the time, like, we did an Omegle video yesterday for Luke and Lewis. Where we just went on Omegle yeah. and talked shit with strangers. And um, all, like, Lewis didn't get recognized once. I reckon every, like, fourth girl that was, like, yeah. 15 was like, Oh my god, are you that guy from TikTok? Like you, <laughs> to to me, oh, and I was like, uh, ah, yeah. depends what you've seen. I was hoping they'd be like, never mind. Yeah, they yeah, were yeah. like, no, I've definitely seen you on TikTok, and I'm like, yeah. I do other shit too. <laughs> 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 like I'm actually really trying hard to be a comedian, but you just called me yeah. a TikToker. <laughs> you, I mean, like, is, is it is it a compliment being a TikToker? I I don't get offended. Like I think, what kind of. I don't even care anymore. It used to annoy me back at the start of comedy when I would be at comedy clubs and the MC would be like, uh, this guy's a YouTuber. You guys will love him. And then I, then the audience is like, what the fuck? We don't want to see a... We're at a comedy club. Like, yeah. We don't want to see a YouTuber. Yeah. And I'd go yeah. out there and I'd spend the first two minutes having to try and make up for that shitty introduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so I just like yeah. ask like, comedians, like, like, oh, can you just like just say like I'm a comedian? Like, I don't even care... If you, I don't care if you mention YouTube. Just don't say I'm a YouTuber. Like, yeah. just say if you want to say I'm big online. I don't give a shit. But I, I also prefer them not to say that. Mm. I just go just announce me on like you're gonna like this next guy. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm. I don't want people to like have a pre-existing yeah, yeah, thing yeah, of me yeah, as I walk exactly. out of stage. Yeah, people I like, find, like, like especially at open mic nights. I remember I was at the Avenue in the Gold Coast uh, during schoolies. Yeah, but we were there like a week after schoolies. I, that was the last gig I did before. Isolation. Oh, wow. Was the gig yeah. in the Gold Coast, yeah. Yeah. Because so I think when we were there, we just got the backstory of the place, that it was a place where all the old chicks would come back in the 90s and try and pull some young 18-year-old. Yeah. But every single act they came in, 
it was like, you know, we were just going at face value what was going to happen yes. when they got onto the mic. There was no like, oh, you may have seen him in, you know, this yeah. or that or whatever, you know. But I, I like that. I like going mm. into rooms like that. But often, like, because it's cool, I guess, that I yeah. can go to rooms and particularly younger people in the crowd, rooms like that, a lot yeah. of people will know who I am. Mm. And be like, oh, this guy's like... Mm. But because now I'm known as a comedian online, I've really changed the image since you don't know me. Because yeah. I've had a lot of stand-up clips go viral. Mm. Like the VCAL bit saved my life. Yeah, yeah. classic. I had this yeah. like bit get like 3 million views on like yeah. Facebook. And then... Jeez, we were quoting that back in... Like, yeah, that was, a, that was a good meme. Yeah, between yeah, us. Yeah, that's a joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, you can honestly you can say I mean, mate, you can say all you want about VCAL kids because they won't understand you, so it's fine. Um, stacks on. Uh, but anyway, so I went there right, and straight away the kids had been told that I was the comedian, right? They're like, "Oh, this is the comedian." So straight away, this one kid was like, "Oh, you the comedian, bro? Oh, you the comedian? Oh, tell us the joke. Tell us the joke. Oh, t- tell us the joke. Tell, fuck, tell us the joke." <laughs> And I was like, your future, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so Double that kind of saved, <laughs> saved it a bit. Nothing wrong with VCAL. <laughs> you, were you in VCAL? I did VCAL. No, no, he oh, did. Oh, you did? <laughs> fuck, of course, the functioning alcoholic in the corner. <laughs> 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 Only did it the last. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, people think I hate VCAL kids. People don't understand that it's like a joke. Like, that's it. I mean, why would I have anything? It, yeah. Why would I care? Hmm. People like yeah. go, oh man, do you hate VCAL? And it's like, I had VCAL, kids give me death threats really? and stuff. Oh, really? by the way, yeah, but also most people who come to my shows now are VCAL kids. So it's like yeah. Yeah. 95% of them loved it. I had VCAL teachers going, mate, played it in class today. Yeah, well, it was so good. And I was like, mate, that can't be good for their self esteem. <laughs> like, you should stop playing that in class. Yeah. But yeah, I had heaps of people get mad at that. You know, people mm. are going, oh, you're bashing people. Less fortunate. Yeah. Like, I never said they were what was poor. It? It's not less yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, I, I just, be yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. you clearly don't understand. <laughs> you know, the story is based off a lot of truth. That's why it went viral. That's right. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people who do VCO going, "Fuck, this is me. I yeah, did yeah, not apply yeah. myself yeah. at all." <laughs> to say that you can't relate to that is bullshit. Like, yeah. you know, I related to that. I didn't try that hard at school. Yeah, so. that's it. Well, you know, and you, you just see the VCO kids occasionally come past you. Yeah, you know, we're doing VCM. You go, oh, you know, yeah. how is VCO going? You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, eating the glue. Yeah, it's good stuff. I had my own set of blocks. Yeah. I'm what? Not You're into- no, okay. Yeah. It's not about the Lego blocks, the um, the bigger ones. The, the mega ones. blocks. Oh, yeah. I don't, don't choke on them. <laughs> yeah, choke me out of the Yeah, you can't trust them with little blocks. Uh, that's it's right. right. It's more of a Duplo vibe. <laughs> 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 not really a Lego kind of thing. Lego's too complex as instructions. <laughs> You'd have to if, read. if you do it, we'll give you a Lego like towards the end of the year, you know. Yeah, free you, period you can get it. <laughs> you gotta be able to count to build Lego. Yeah. So um, yeah, that that video kind of mm. uh, was a bit of a save in a way where I was known as this like you don't know me yeah, yeah, yeah. meme guy. When so no the one meme kind of died yeah. out and people focused. No on one it. even knew I did stand up. Yeah. So having that stand up clip go viral was like so good for mm. me. And then all my other shit started going viral. And now I never get called a YouTuber on the street. People always go like, "Oh, you're that comedian." And now since TikTok is the only time I've ever been referred to as something other than a comedian. Okay. But I think that's because the people on TikTok literally have never seen comedy in their life. Mm. They're like yeah. 14. I yeah. hadn't seen comedy when I was 14 either. Yeah. So you can't blame them. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm very sorry that I that I introduced you as stand-up comedian and then I said, and YouTuber. No, that's great. I like so that. That's okay. All right. No, I'm saying like, I don't care if people say that. It's just annoying when like the MC... <laughs> you know, there's a crowd, there's a crowd of 300 yeah. people that you're yeah. about to try yeah. and impress. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then they go, this guy is a YouTuber. Yeah. Welcome to the stage, little kids. And I'm just like... Sick. And especially when you've got a lot of maybe older sort of people who oh, yeah. don't go on YouTube. Like the like, oh, what's this fucking count? Yeah, they see like yeah. a do, you know. little skinny fucking yeah. child looking kid come out. Mm. I was like 19 when this was happening. Yeah. And I was coming on stage with like, oh, dicks. Which is still my act, <laughs> but now I look older. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they were just like, what the fuck? I don't want to yeah. listen to this kid di- talk about memes, which is mm. not what I did. But I, most people came around. It was just always a brutal start. Yeah. Lucky I'm very talented. Exactly. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, what would love you, um, I watched your special when it came out. Oh, thank you. Last year, that was, that was, that was really, I thought it, as a debut special, like, because I, I saw a, a lot of it, you know, like, like even seeing how it had developed 
as well. Like yeah, because you would have seen a lot at the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I only filmed that probably a month after you saw it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was... filmed that in May and you saw it in April. Mm. And I... did you did you do that over two nights? No, was that was the mistake. One? That was the yeah. one thing I regret. Not okay. a mistake. I kind of yeah. think it's cool that it's like, the you know you watch a lot of comedy specials on Netflix. I don't know if you can tell, but because like I know how it, it works, works yeah. I can see the cuts. Mm. Like, yeah, I can just see them cutting between different nights. Yeah. Like, yes, they wear the same clothes, but you can tell, like, their arm might be up here, and then the next shot, their microphone is switch hands. Mm. That's always a bad continuity error. I, th- I think I noticed something that was more so with... It wasn't necessarily that he was out of sync. I think it was the John Mulaney comeback kid at Radio City. Yeah. And, and, and he had... There's, like, a little bit for, like, a split second, and, and he uh, and he says a line... But it's not in sync with his voice, but it's because, it, obviously it was taken another night, but he says it longer, like, yeah. he, like he drains it out a bit more, and that was one thing, or, yeah. oh, okay. And then also seeing, with some of them, like, I think, more particularly with some of, um, you know, like Netflix pumping out so many specials constantly, yeah. you kind of, you know, get a feeling for where, you know, you they, they start to edit, it's particularly even with, like, audience Man, sound think, as well, you know. I think like, the specials are not done, they're just, like, mm. people are getting sick of the amount of the options mm. like you can go watch so much comedy at the tip of your fingertips like if you have Netflix yeah. you can clock comedy you can mm. just be the biggest comedy fan if you want to spend a day you could watch a hundred bunch of them yeah um, so like yeah I think the whole thing with the spe- the one thing I liked about my special was that it was filmed on one night mm. and I filmed for about 80 minutes and yeah. we used like 55 I think okay so we did cut out the 25 right yeah um, which was the plan. Yeah. Because I knew it wouldn't all be perfect. Because, like, when you got one take in it, you're going to fuck up one, mm. something. So I was like, I'm just going to go out there, have fun, and I th- I can tell that I'm really nervous. Mm. I never get nervous at shows. It was the first time I'd been nervous since, like, 2017. And yeah. then the feeling of being nervous freaked me out. Yeah. I was like, why am I nervous? I never get nervous. Like, mm. I don't... It's not the crowd. I don't get stage fright. It was the fact that this was costing me so much money yeah. and I have one chance one shot. and mm. I cannot fuck it up. Yeah, that was well. what the pressure was. <laughs> yeah. It was like, I do this every night. Mm. This shouldn't bother me. Yeah, exactly. And I'm never worried about fucking it up. I kind of wish like the best show of the two I was the camera show, my last show. Okay. It was just so much fun um, and the whole crowd. I just remember feeling so good about that show. And I guess because in that way it's like, okay, we're wrapping it up. This is the... Yeah, real, I think I was just like, having so much fun because I was like, this yeah. is the last time I'm ever going to do this show. Mm. And I went out and I did like 80 minutes and yeah. it was just so much fun. The crowd was having a great time. And I tried to end the show like three times and everyone was like, come on, like just... And I keep, was like to the venue people, more, yeah. I was like, oh, can I keep going? They're like, yeah, we're still on yeah, beers, right. we don't care. And I was like, all right, I'll keep going. Mm. And then I was like, do one more bit. And I'd be like, all right, guys, seriously, this has been so much fun. Yeah, go And they were like, no, nah, come on. And I was like, fuck, I'll do one more. And I was having so much fun that I was like, I don't yeah, care, right. I'll just keep going. Yeah, might as well. So what, where, where did you film the special? In Brisbane. That was in Brisbane. How yeah. early was that? In that was like, though? that's the, that was the thing that bothered me. That was like... It was halfway through the tour. Yeah, okay. So uh, the show got better after the special. Right. That sh- I started... I kept on doing the special show mm. for the next, like, ten shows. Yeah. And, like, ten shows later, it was just, like, hit this point, and I was like, I can't believe we didn't schedule it at the end. It just yeah. fell in that day. Like, that was the best venue. Right. It was such a cool-looking theatre. It was the biggest show of the tour. It was, like, 400 people. And I was like, I we just decided to do it there. Right. And then... I think in hindsight I should have thought. I think it was just yeah, it just it just fell on the wrong day, and mm. there was nothing I could do about it. I just had to make the best of that situation. Had, yeah. But mm. I don't know. People liked it, so yeah, it yeah. Fine. I thought it came out I'm great. Very yeah. critical of it because I look but, at it and go like, how could have I done it better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, then I guess that helps you for the next special. I think I'm, I'm glad it, that yeah. I just did it. Like even though it's, yeah. I come away with it. I was really proud of it, mm. and I'm yeah. super happy with it, and it went really well. Um, but I, I just. I'm glad I did it because I feel like if I waited another three years to do the first special, mm. then that one mightn't have been as good. Yeah. And then if I wait three years to do a second one, that second one, I'll know exactly what not to, to do work and what on to everything. do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I find a lot with... Because, um, of course, being a, being a younger sort of comedian, yeah. I find sometimes you hear... People get weirded out. Like, yeah, and, and sometimes with older comedians, they, they, they take a, like a little longer to come oh, out with a special, and okay. sometimes it doesn't quite go the way it should have because they haven't had that practice... At all, or yeah. even I mean, a lot of the older like... comedy like, people in the industry, like, really, do not judge me. I just felt yeah. like they were like, What the fuck? You don't, it's not real. They were like, mm. It's not, you can't just buy yourself a special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, 
Yeah, like it's on Amazon Prime, like it's on a mm. streaming service. It's like a, it is a comedy special. Yeah, yeah it's legitimate. Yeah. Um, and I think at the time people were like, but you haven't earned it or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. and I was like, well, I just built my own audience, and I I think there's Ill, this. I think it's just a thing, and like only famous comedians can have a special. Right. And now that's kind of changing because it's mm. so much cheaper to film stuff now. Yeah. Like if you've got, you can rent, four K cameras for. You know, if you've got, say, like, a budget of ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000, that's obviously very expensive. Yeah. But compared to the Netflix specials, which I imagine cost 50 60 plus, yeah. it's pretty affordable mm. to do what I and, did. And, and the same with film. even just getting your brand out there as much now with, with, with social media and that, because there's so many more platforms yeah. to get yourself out there. Whereas in early years, it's kind of like, oh, I'm only going to, you know, kind of get somewhere through yeah. doing a lot of stand-up and a lot of... Yeah, I, yeah I just so think it's... it was a thing I'm glad I did, and I feel like... Mm most people it's very not the thing to do is like mm. film a special because most people just want their shit to be like oh, I want it so polished that I'm going to wait 10 years and all the best material yeah. I was like I'm going to I thought about it I was talking to Lewis about it I was like man I could just film this show like you know because if I wait another three years these jokes will just never see the light of day Yeah, I was like because I'll obviously get better and mm. I'll never end up using these jokes That's in three right. years time anyway off, yeah. I was like why not just shoot it People have a good time watching it, yeah. and move on. Yeah, exactly. And I've just like moved on from that material. And if some people like, you know, I, I think I can do better than that. That's mm. one thing I can acknowledge. I'm like, ah, oh, I can definitely do better than yeah, that. That's great. And the next one will be better. Yeah. So I think, yeah, this whole thing. I think the game's changed. In like, you're not gonna have that debut special that makes you famous anymore because no one cares. There's so many like specials out there. Like, yeah, exactly. why would you watch an up and comer? over Ricky Gervais. Mm. Like, everyone just watches Seinfeld, Dave Chappelle, and Ricky Gervais <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So you might as well just put it out there and yeah, exactly. try and make the next one better. Mm. Mm. Right, yeah. I think we'll... Would you like to do a segment? Sounds good. Oh, do you do segments? Oh, yeah. 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 Segment. Should have got this way earlier. Segment. I've been flapping, <laughs> flapping about. I'm sorry. No, no. Tim realized we had it's segments. Great. No, it's good. What's the first segment going to be? Oh, it's going to be the... Uh... Oh, I'll let him play it. Be a little... I just realised you guys are both wearing Vans. Oh, are they so, new? <laughs> <laughs> oh, got new shoes. shoes. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to brag. Oh, they're looking so new. They are very recently acquired. Oh, yeah. yeah. Brand new. And yeah, mine so- are somewhat new, but not... not yeah, as new obviously, it's not as new. Yeah, of shoes. Yeah. Mine have got that, you know, they've got the dirt, and it's kind of been worn out of it. And yeah. 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 All right, guys, it's time for this. Bad lyrics with you. All right, just, just, just pretend that was great. Yeah, that was fun. Beautiful. No, so. I didn't have to pretend. Oh, that. thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Bad thanks. lyrics with Josh. <laughs> okay. Josh? Is that what it oh. said? Joel. So sad, Joel. Oh, oh I'm sorry, sorry. I just thought that said Josh. I thought that. Oh, I was no. like... Oh, it's probably the auto um, By the way, we've I'm just singing. met before this podcast. Bad I was like, Joel and Brandon... Oh, it's probably kind of the auto tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's all right. I did check for the side of the podcast. Like, I was like, Joel and Brandon, yeah. yeah and then yeah, I heard yeah, that. It okay. made me doubt myself. Oh, shit. Like, oh, 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 oh. No, 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 it's, it's all right. Okay. I, I get it all. So like, bad, yeah. Just change your name. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do, during the Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah changing. So um, this is the bad lyrics segment I do. And um, I just want to jump straight into it with uh, this song by... It's called Wuton Soup. Yeah, sure. So is this B? just trashing songs? I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, this line is thirty on my dick on the court like Spalding. Bitches suck my dick because I look like J.K. Rowling. Is that a real line? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Hang on. That? Is J.K. L- Rowling B. hot? Uh, that's Harry Potter bitch. That's the Harry- I yeah. know, but it's, the <laughs> lyric was "Bitches suck my dick because I look like J.K. Rowling." Is well, that? You know, I'd say she's a six. Is that what it says? A six? Yeah. 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 <laughs> she's a solid six. Yeah. So, I don't think bitches are sucking your dick no. because you look like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And well. could it be because all those chicks who are sucking his dick are into guys look like J.K. Rowling? They're, they're into women. But the thing is, is he a guys. dude? Yeah. No, does he, does he look Rowling's like Rowling's a woman. No, no, no. no, 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 no <laughs> fucking. <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> But you know, she got into some controversy <laughs> lately. She got cancelled for yeah. saying some stuff about oh, yeah, transgender she, yeah. people, I think. I don't know what she said. I'm okay. You know what? I'm yeah, unopinionated, yeah. guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's stay out of it. Well, let's, uh, let's just call her a six and move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fucking... You know what? She's a five. Fuck her. <laughs> she's oh, old. She's an author. That it's just, she yeah. doesn't have to be hot. you got to be a gold. That's right. You know what? Hey, um, what's the first line? The first line? It's 30 on my dick on that court, like, Spalding. Yeah, you know what? He didn't have anything else that rhymed with Spalding. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> he was like rolling. My favorite part. rolling. Yeah, yeah, true. My favorite part is it just ends with like swag, swag, swag in like brackets, which really resonates with all of us, I think, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> and is that because um like is is it in brackets because like it's in the background like Yeah, like swag, swag, swag. swag, swag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's <laughs> That's like the back a backing vocal. So it's yeah. not the next next line. It's no, like, no. Yeah, people swag. like swag, swag. Yeah. When was this made? Dude, he looks like I, JK Rowling. I don't That's know. Swag. I think it was like in the 2000s, 2000s. Oh, so this isn't recent. Wizard swag. No. no. Um, alright, so, so the next song is, uh, like, <laughs> it's so funny, imagine, just like, I'm just imagining a girl in a bar being like, oh my god, you like, look like, JK Rowling, but like, not only that, it's like, you look like a person who would think of the game Quidditch, <laughs> <laughs> can I suck you off, like, that's not hot, even like, there's no way where like, mm. she could be hot, it, like, you know, if you have a cool job, you can be bumped up, yeah, yeah. I just think, thinking of like, Polyjuice, Potion isn't like cool. It's creative and it's great. I love Harry Potter, but it's not like I don't want to get on the end of someone's dick because I'm like, fuck. You come up with Hermione (laughs) Granger. Good apologies. (laughs) Yeah, you wrote those characters. Yeah, you wrote them. Wow. You came up with the word Hufflepuff. Hot. (laughs) (laughs) Um. (laughs) Yeah, man. Uh, This next uh, song is "So Yesterday" by Hilary Duff. This. uh, Yes. Classic. Lizzie McGuire days? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, this lyric is just great. It's fantastic. It's, uh, if the light is off, then it isn't on. <laughs> Good point. That's just a fact. Dude, it's so true. It's, <laughs> it's, it's true. It's true. Dropping, it's just dropping facts, man. Dropping fact statement. bombs. Isn't it's it? great. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's the best. I, I don't know if it gets better than that. Well, no, to be honest, follow up line. Follow up line. Listen, I can't read it. It's probably like, fucking... when the door <laughs> is closed, it's not it's open. Not open. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I would say, but I, I fucked up the screenshot and it's got it's got that shit over the phone. You know what? After, so I can't. You know what? After hearing that line, I don't want to know what this yeah, is. Yeah, you don't need to. Get for that one. No, exactly. It's, it's, right. it's perfect. It's perfect the way it you is. You could have just ended the sentence that she didn't get a Grammy. <laughs> That's right. We've got a uh, another song very similar to the Hilary Duff one. It's yeah. by Razor Light. It's called Somewhere Else. He goes, I met a girl. She asked me my name. I told her what it was. Mm. So he's just described a basic greeting. Yeah. Hi, yeah. what's your name? <laughs> Luke. And then he's like, oh, I've been inspired. <laughs> like, Wait, man, I this should, one down, man. I should write yeah. that down. Yeah. It's a, yeah. it's a yeah. song lyric, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, man. He's one of those douchebags that it interviews is like, inspiration can come from anywhere. And it's like, but it shouldn't. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you should actually have a higher threshold of what is good. <laughs> um, I think this might be the last one. I'm really liking this segment. <laughs> this is great. Do you want, do you want another one? Yeah, yeah, one absolutely. Or? Yeah, all right, all right. Keep going. I, like um, this. I don't know if you're liking it, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, he's, he's just he, thinking, he's, he's found the best for this time. God, he's just <laughs> thinking, dude, this sucks, man. Just keep going. Anyway, uh, this is... Fuck! This is an Ed Sheeran song. Uh, it's called "Wake Me Up." Um, it's the lyrics are, and I know you love Shrek because we've watched it twelve times. And there's our Shrek. There's a Shrek drinking. There he is. <laughs> What's Shrek holding? Ah, uh, that that That's happily ever potion. after potion. Oh, of course, that happily turns him into beautiful. Yeah, yeah it turns into a radio. Show. Radio Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. But um, I don't know the uh, our friend, of... our friend Radio Mike, who used to work in our radio show, he just looks like human Shrek. Was he the one wearing the Shrek mask when I yes. when I was there in the loogies? Cause I think uh, I saw him. <laughs> no, Radio Mike was the guy on the piano. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Who okay. um told the story about his cum? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's Radio Mike. He, he looks a lot yeah. like Human Shrek. We have yeah, context, yeah. please, because they don't know what that is. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going to tell the story. It's a it's a very long story. That's no, right. That's all right. We can leave it at that. You know. <laughs> all right. I'll do I'll do one more for this segment. It's yeah. um. I think the band's LFO. The song's called Summer Girls. It's, uh, New Kids on the Block had a bunch of hits. Chinese food makes me sick. How does Those that are two completely unrelated statements. Because New Squash Kids on the girl. Block is a band, right? Yeah. I think, from, like, the 90s. Yeah. yeah. And then he's just gone, comma, end of thought. I think Begin he ran... new thought. <laughs> Chinese food makes me <laughs> sick. He didn't know what rhymes with hits, so he went with sick. Yeah, it's not even a good rhyme. That's, that's the vaguely, a very vague. He could have said rhyme. Chinese food makes me shit. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been a better yeah. lot. 
<laughs> the best thing though is this song. I don't know if you've heard it. I've actually listened to a little bit of these songs just to get the vibe of it. This yeah. is like this era with the uh, the tips and the the blonde hair. It's like, hey girl, you know, like with the acoustic guitar. Yeah. Wonderful. So, <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful era. Yeah. Yeah, 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 around that time. Like, yeah. Every guy at a party brings a guitar, and he's like, yeah, oh, I can yeah. play Wonderwall. <laughs> this is, yeah, these guys are like the dudes who are like gonna, gonna steal your girls back in 2000s, mate. So, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that's the uh, end of my segment. Man, Bad lyrics. Woo! It's great segment. So. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we have to interrupt there. Um, Joel, something uh, very sad has happened that um, may now change uh, how this episode uh this this podcast itself how the podcast runs um due to uh losing a a dear member of the podcast of the show oh no who did we lose um the sea monkeys joel you don't you see the dead corpses right in front of us (laughs) now um the sea monkeys they really brought they they brought a lot of (laughs) a lot a lot of this is so hard guys uh brought a lot of good content to this show particularly the uh Brandon uh, Sea monkey, monkey update. Brandon Sea Monkeys update. Every week I um. Be able to hear the, ch- the chime anymore. That's right. That's right. So they're just there, dead in this little fish tank. Um. I hear. <laughs> Look, I um. Guys, I'm crying. I don't, I'm don't know what to say. Laughing. They 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 went through so so much. These sea monkeys. What do they go through, Joel? They, we had a lot of fun times together. Yeah, they, we, we had a very fun time with the sea monkeys. You know, they went through World War Sea Monkey. They went through the... The Civil, civil Sea Monkey. War, civil Sea Monkey War. They, yeah. uh, you know, they enslaved people in the Egyptian times. That's right. Sea Monkeys. And uh, <coughs> I think they were just getting into 2020. <laughs> they all fucking dropped dead and it was very sad. Yeah. Very and, sad. um... Yeah, yeah but, now they're gone. So we'll just have a quick little... Speech. Um, 10 second silence oh, it's ten, okay. That was the speech wasn't it Oh yeah What else you want to fucking say uh, about them I was just going to say that the sea monkeys were like A son to me Like they're like children to me. They're like children to me And mm. uh, I'm very sad that they're gone To see them gone Yeah I'm mm. not smiling guys I'm smiling through the pain Is what I'm doing So we're going to have a quick anyway, 10 seconds s- 10 silence. second silence Yep uh, Out of respect This is very for, very serious Out of respect for the sea monkeys you guys, Don't laugh at home I see you smiling through your cameras Just it's fucking Come rude. on, man. This isn't the this right is, time. This is sad. All right. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just buy a new batch. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, back to the episode. Pubs you can smoke in near me. How to get your virginity back. Is Noel Fielding gay? Do gingers have souls? This is Billy's search history. Is Noel Fielding gay? Uh, probably. Uh, actually, I'm the, the, you, you looked it up. up. The I, looked it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I looked it up. He's not... Oh, um, but he's he, very um, sexually ambiguous. But he's, mm. he's, you know, he's dipped his toe. Um, <laughs> so, hello. Well, thank you for having no me. No worries. Now, this is a segment that we designed a couple months ago when we realised that Billy has a lot of really interesting Google searches, which <laughs> seem to be just shower thoughts or three AM thoughts. I love this. Not in the shower, but you know, you can get the gist of it. All right. Is that because you're doing other things in the shower? Of course. So, no, no, no. Okay, me. so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this is... No, that's too... This, we don't want to dive into the deep end. Just, the, just do it, man. No, just uh, don't, don't, don't give it away. Just, okay, so first right. of all, I searched a lot of bubble boy. Like, that's just... Bubble boy. Bubble boy. The word bubble what... and boy. So if you were to go... If I died, you I, looked I, at my search history, that's what come up. Yeah. So, anyway... I saw this thing, I was watching, I think it was like a current affair or something, and Jack Gyllenhaal, for like 20, 30 years ago, played this <laughs> this boy who lives in a bubble because his mum's like scared of the light, like the world. Right. So but, it's like a movie or a character. But yeah, well, when I, when I searched Bubble Boy, that shit didn't come up. How many times have you searched it? Oh, it's fair few fucking times. <laughs> but, why, but why did you think refreshing it five times would, <laughs> would like, get better That's results? Right. You think, I, like, I, I thought there was going to be more. You're like, Google's fine. I'll oh, like, give nah. it another crack. Actually, page two, page three. I was about three. to bing it too, so that's... You know, <laughs> that's when you know you're um, desperate for results. So that was one of them. Yeah, do uh, it. And then we go on to... Um, uh, <laughs> You know, it go it it, it gets very drastic. Yeah. So it goes, you know, bubble boy, and then I get a bit more. Bubble boy was and then pretty. It, and then I start searching cabinet lights because that's a thing. Um, yeah. Fried rice no. with bacon. Does every fried rice you get have bacon in it? 
Oh, um, like, like just naturally, like when, when not as in when it's grown in the ground. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would say it's like 50 50. Mm. Well, I tried to. P- particularly when it, when you get fried rice from a uh, from like a Chinese restaurant, they tend to. We're talking special fried rice, bits. by the way, aren't we? Yeah, but like yeah. if you were to just go up like and say, like, oh, I'll just have a fried rice, is it, first of all, always going to be the special fried rice? It's usually, yeah, you pretty mm. much. I think the person behind the counter, it's their responsibility to say special fried rice, mm. and you to go, yes. This is really just a segment for Billy just to learn to get new shit. And yeah, I'm just getting insights because it's that's me. Right. So I like that <laughs> you've Googled it and you still don't know. So you're still like, I have no idea. <laughs> you're still, come still, to still conclusions. <laughs> yeah. So um, far, you've Googled two things and you've got no results that have been useful. Um, it's not a great ad for Google. This <laughs> no, it's not. Um, here's another one. Yeah. Why is bread so cheap? Because <laughs> it's really like, cheap to make. Why? Because it's like, well, of, how do you get expensive bread? It's made of flour. You fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but hang on, hang on, so sorry. We've never met. This. <laughs> but, 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 why was that a thought that came to your head, though? Couldn't you just accept well, that? Yeah, it's cheap. I was at no, the shops. Why? I was doing my food shopping. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't eat a lot of bread, but I thought, oh, I'll grab a loaf. You go, fuck, that's yeah. cheap. Oh, that's a good yeah. loaf. Is and that because it's the stuff that expires the following day? And it probably fucking food. was. How much did you think it was? Well, I know how much fucking bread is. No, but like how much... Okay. No. <laughs> no, no you seem surprised by the cost. No, because I was wondering if there's like massively expensive bread. There is organic bread. Yeah. It's like $8 a loaf. Bullshit. Oh. Yeah. yeah. So that that's bread. an extra fucking six bucks. Yeah, Dude, eight, so... if I'm paying $8 a loaf of bread, like that shit better be able to like jack well, me off what, and tell what, my future. What you know? makes like, it so is... fucking good if it's $8 though? Um, it's, organic. it's organic. And I don't understand that world, so I'm not the best mm, person no. to ask. Wait, is, 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 is the like tip top option. Tip top's yeah. the one that you were looking at? Like, just, or just, just bread? Woolies. No, Woolies bread. Okay. okay. You know when yeah. they do, they got the bakery section? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, just done this like five hours ago. Well, I guess they're making it, they're kind of like... This is there's no real brand that's mm. behind this. I'll just you know. Mm. How much was it? It was a dollar seventy five. That's cheap, bro. All right, go get it now, guys. Well, I, but Delicious. the thing is, you know what's fucking hilarious? And this is another reason I searched why is bread so cheap. A full loaf is a dollar seventy five. They do half loaves for yeah. like single people. No, I can't. <laughs> like, yeah. You know, like yeah. Yeah. you're not gonna eat a like whole yourself. loaf of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. do they really? Yeah, they do. I, I, did, I, didn't, I didn't realize it. But they only I never thought about that. They only do it at Woolworths, like because yeah. of the bakery section. Yeah, okay. And that is about two to three dollars. Right. So you're paying for, for the more... convenience of no food wastage. Mm. It's actually Which, cheaper to buy more bread. For mm. someone who's gonna save food and do all that shit, yeah, like great, you know, mm. wastage was. But for fucking people who are on the dole or <laughs> like, you know, something along that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're like, mate, get the full loaf. Yes. Yeah, so, so what why is bread? Did, what did Google say? Like, why uh, it's is the, so it cheap? is the ingredients. Just flour. So I like cheap. flour. Um, what else is made? Once you start putting in the, or, yeah, as you said before, your organic or um, your soy milk or yeah. seeds, as soon as you start mm, fucking with it, yeah. Christ yeah. Jackson, yeah. yeah. bang! Yeah. It's like came up. Anyway, um, uh, one time I. Oh, sorry. Right. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's, it's all right. a ghost. Um, this is a thought I had in the morning. I woke up. And I was on Facebook, and there was something about fish. And I thought, oh, oh hey Siri, fish. What this be? do fish have vaginas? <laughs> um, and you'd think, like, Siri would be like, oh, that's a weird question. Hmm. I'm not going to answer that. But no, 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 she came back with an answer. And it said, no, female ray-finned fishes do not have vaginas. But that's just one fish. I know, but I said <laughs> fish in general. Yeah. So there's, yeah, there's that. But then there's the name. So that must just be one one fish. One Wait, fish. so do fish okay. have vaginas? Or is it just the one species of fish that doesn't? I don't know. Maybe just fuck their know. gills. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you're into that type of thing. And he holds a goal. <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's 2020, you know. I'm sorry. I'm just, you invited me into your family home. And that, that was inappropriate. <laughs> do you fuck fish? <laughs> what? <laughs> I realise it has come across like you any whole experience. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Well, once, once we're uh, I've got the bloody query even home. Once we're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the mood lighting That's in the early days. Oh, you know, on it's a like Friday a night, it gets frisky. <laughs> anyway, so that's the fish one. Uh, and then another day, yeah. it was I think it was something along the lines of Twilight, and it was like a current affair or something. Right. Because because there's a new Twilight book happening apparently. Mm-hmm. Not that I know this. I don't fucking watched Twilight but it's happening 
So I have a look. New and, Twilight book. Oh, apparently. And I go, hey Siri, vampire sex scene movie. That's just the context. Like I, when you say that, that reminds me of like until dusk. What no, dusk and dawn. From until dusk till dawn. From yeah. dusk till dawn. I just think of that as in mm. like. Yeah, but no. So, and it was late at night, so I couldn't really. Hang on, have you just you've just said yeah. a thing? Like you haven't asked a question. You've just gone, "Hey Siri," well, and then another <laughs> statement. I thought what did you think Siri up? would say? I that? thought you'd be like, "Here you go," and show Here like a play. bunch of. No, but you have to say like, "Search the internet for." I did Vika Lynn to me this shit for about phones. Anyway, so she said, no, I can't do it. So then it got to a point where I thought, oh, fuck that off. That's like incognito stuff you'd want to search in. Yeah, but I don't think he gives a fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, exactly. That's true. And, and here's, here's, here's the last one after that. <laughs> after that, I thought, oh, yeah, I'm watching some things. It's about 3 a.m. in the morning. And I go, yeah. okay, hmm. I, first, I. <laughs> I said dildo. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And no part in this where you're like, I should go to yeah. bed. <laughs> yeah, this is early. No, yeah. no, it keeps going. There's okay. more. Um, oh, then I search awesome. the first ever dildo. Oh, okay. What was it? It's, uh, it turned, turned out... <laughs> no, it turned out... No, 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 it was splinters. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so no. they started with, um, with rocks Ooh, that what? they would okay. sharpen. But the issue with that is, is Ouch. it would get a bit too sharp. Yeah. So they go, so. oh, what's the better alternative? Hmm. How about we use wood? Oh my. So then, so then it's like, you know, you're onto wood dildos. Yeah. Is yeah. there sandpaper fine enough to make that oh, a good experience? Mate, how about we find out? Anyway, no, 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 did, did, did you find your sandpaper you're asking for? And I thought, oh, what are you making? A dildo? Did you, did you find it in no, the end? Well, couldn't it, find it. Oh, they don't even make sense. Yeah. I was looking for sandpaper today. And... I would love to see your targeted ads. After all of this. <laughs> yeah, it's Just a lot like, of... Um, oh, man. Have you got wish, like, wish.com? Yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Some weird fucking wish stuff. Wish will be like wooden medieval <laughs> dildo. <laughs> and then, and then, I, was, we are, I got on, oh, the types of dildos. Yeah. And it has suggested. <laughs> and so you click on that and it's bread dildo. Bread? A dildo bread, made out what? of bread. I don't bread? Want, I don't want to be gross, but... That would get soggy. Mm. I think that's just Straight a fact. We can, we're all thinking it. Yeah, that that's would... right. See, I can't yeah, wait. So can, I think we need you on for episode 69 with all this type of, yeah, just this type it, of content. Like, it, like, we yeah. should have been reserved. I'm, I'm behaving stuff. myself yeah. today. Yeah, this You're is... staying within well, the Well, you did tell me, sorry, Brian, it's been a dry week. Haven't really had anything that... I would really hate, hate to see a good week. <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. Because this is pretty... This is almost... This is a dry news week. Yeah, this is... um. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I was disappointed in myself. <laughs> I am you were, wait, you were disappointed in yourself about this. So, you know, I, I did find out that there's a bread dildo, and they used it in, in the 1800s. Mm-hmm. They used it in it, the 1800s. It's like a baguette type thing. Ah. Oh. Oh, we were French type of shit, <laughs> you know. Uh, and then, this is where it stops. Yeah. Oh, like a sourdough thing. Sourdough, oh, no, you, get, you get on yeah. the sourdough, and then there was this I'm woman. sorry. <laughs> it's your mate. Okay, I'll set up. <laughs> There was this woman who, sorry, she made bread yep. out of her own well, vaginal yeast. Uh, oh. yep. And then that's when I went to bed. Oh, so that, you that's, sleep though after? So you're like, yeah, time yeah, to Yeah, like sleep. a baby. I'm yeah. surprised that wasn't followed up by another search of, so can you literally eat pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you already kind of got that answer for you. Yes. Well, yes. Mm. Um, but yeah. It's it's a slow news week, but that's pretty much it's a slow news week. This week. Yeah. Well, um, I think the bread was the most exciting thing that happened uh, with my searches. Vagina bread. Mm. Vagina bread. <laughs> no, I can't but, wait to have you back on here for a wet week. So uh, wet week. Ah, oh. okay, it's well, like when people wet. say like, oh, I'm doing dry July, and there's like alcoholics in the corner, like, oh, I've had a very wet July, <laughs> like you know. Anyway, thank yeah. you. Thanks, Billy. He's very horny. Thank, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm behaving myself. <laughs> yes, he's on his best behaviour today. Yeah, right. That was great. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, Billy. Really You're good welcome. segments. Yeah, we've got fucking applause. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you, Billy. Whoop, whoop. Awesome. Very cool. Oh. Have you got a segment, Brandon? Um, that kind of was my segment, but then Billy came in. I, I did have a segment... Uh, where I'd be feeding my sea monkeys every episode. Yeah. But they died last episode. That's yeah. So we've got a we funeral little, that we filmed we yesterday, clip, which yeah, that is very morbid. So we have yeah. a little clip. Yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks. No, I mean, that's all right. I just get a new batch. They fucking, you know, if you, if, if you miss, like, if you overfeed them or you miss one day, oh, they're complicated. Yeah. We have, like, creatures. we have, like, a whole funeral that we're going to 
place in random. Yeah, that's it. Then, then it sounds like you've already moved on a bit. <laughs> no, no, we're grieving. We're laughing. Yeah, yeah, sorry, we are grieving. True. Yeah, they went through still, a lot. I've still got them on my bench. I didn't even throw them out after we did the segment. Just got these dead uh, sea monkey corpses just on my desk. Just when's the funeral? You know, uh, well, the funeral was yesterday. yesterday. You missed it, but but we'll put it in here. <laughs> like, it's like, okay. Where's my invite? Yeah. We're gonna like. I wasn't uh, doing much yesterday. Well, we can have a minute Sorry. of silence. No, no, no fuck too. that! I didn't get to, I didn't get an invite to the funeral. It, John, uh, Billy, is my camera about to die? Yeah, I was about yeah. To say. Okay, we should uh-huh. probably think about wrapping it up anyway. Um, so with <laughs> the comedy festival and a lot of things yep. being cancelled this year, because now you had that on uh, on the run. Tour. Yeah, so I was. Yeah, I had a whole tour booked in. Yeah. Um, comedy festival and an every interstate show. Flights booked, paid for. Woohoo! Virgin oh, did gosh. not refund them because oh, they gosh. are now in oh, voluntary that's administration. That's why they call Virgin. Yes. It's no it. sex for you, mate. I was trying to fuck them. I was trying to get my money back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do anything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you do on flights, but. <laughs> Seen my <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't want to know what you do. That's the vanilla <laughs> stuff, man. That's not. Yeah. A, yeah. That's within the TOS of our podcast. Exactly. So, man. any idea when? Oh man, it's just when the government. Yeah, it's, yeah, 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 to yeah, me. Exactly, um, yeah. Because I've seen that there's been some like stand-up comedy over in the states that's sort of slowly. It's also happening in Perth. Point. Perth are going pretty well at the moment with Corona. They yeah. had hundred people in the comedy lounge this week. Okay. Um, they're back to gatherings of a hundred. We have fifteen. Showrooms happening. Spleen yeah. is open, a bar in the city. Um, I haven't done any stand up since it's come back. I think not many people have. I th- yeah, it's only been open for about a week. Yeah. I don't think I'll start doing it again until like we're all kind of back and it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. no weird. And also, I kind of feel like it's pre- pretty irresponsible if I was to put on like a, a show of mine, like a mm. ticketed event. Didn't I was talking about this a bunch of people. To yeah, I was talking in, about yeah. to this with Lewis today. I was like, yes, it's those people's choice to come to mm. the show but also like is it my responsibility like yeah. you know I could just yeah. avoid the whole situation so I don't have a choice mm. I don't know I, I'm, I'm of the thing now where like I've been but could you put rules in though for like the social distancing kind of thing yeah like, you, you could, could have but it's people. still like a hundred people would, yeah, yeah. Yeah. still it's, much, yeah, it's like I don't yeah. care if I get it that's the thing I'm young and I don't live with anyone yeah. like vulnerable and it's like I could easily yeah. self isolate and probably get over it. and I reckon I'm, I'm a been hitting the world gym. I could probably hit it. Probably kick that bad boy in yeah. a month. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe. Maybe I'm pretty confident. But I'm not particularly worried about getting it. It's just like it's a bit selfish if you live with your grandparents or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. That's yeah. It. Okay, so, so yeah, because I guess there's still also that fear that even though things are starting to open second up, second wave. Yeah, second wave. So there's there's, there's still yeah. always. Oh, I think I'm gonna. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, awesome. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll um, just wait until there's. Does oh, it stop? No, oh. still going. This is too slow. Uh, that's up. I thought it was continuing. Vagina. Um, oh, yeah. Pick up blue well, face. <laughs> Otherwise, we might have lost like another yeah. two minutes of audio. Um, well, yeah. I, would, I don't know. <laughs> John has oh, had a heart man. attack. Um, <laughs> that's, that's been all day, man. It's been like that. Yeah. <laughs> I have a quick question. I know it's about ticket sales. Um, we uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Were your tickets already available? Oh man. Bathroom? I was I was selling great as well. Mm, yeah. we, were, we were about to buy some. Yeah, we were, I was selling best. the best I'd ever it was sold. The week it was going to be my yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was pumped. <laughs> anyway, it's not it's out of my control. So it's like I was a bit not. I was just I guess I was a bit cut up about it. But I was like, well, it's not anyone's fault. There's no one to put the blame on. Mm. Suck mm. it up. That's life, I guess. Yeah, I was just certainly. like, I you know, I ended up losing a lot of money. Not only did I lose money that I was going to make because that's my job. But I also lost money because I had venue deposits, flights, all this stuff booked in. So, like... <laughs> was that your Sorry, mum's watching Big Brother. Just my mum watching Big Brother. Big Brother. So must be really funny. Yeah. That's good. Um, <laughs> That's bad timing. Keelan's probably also watching. I don't know many people. I was saying today, I was like, does anyone even watch Big Brother? Turns out your mum. Oh. <laughs> I've, I've got a segment on this show where I oh, really? recap the end of See, each week. We um. We, Keelan tried to do a segment on our show. We did it today, actually, which was unfortunate. But um, he... Uh, <laughs> He tried to um, talk about Big Brother on our show, but we uh, made him. We, we kept it to a minute. He's yeah. only he only he's only uh, like sixty seconds to. Yeah, actually yeah. fifty eight seconds. We made it. No, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so you and the, lucky yeah, I get well. a whole fucking segment. Yeah, right. Two. But then <laughs> yeah, yeah. we did it today. We like you have sixty seconds to talk to about me. Big Brother. Then we yeah. move on. And he gets about 30 seconds in and goes, anyway, that's it. And I'm like, oh, wow. you, you won in five minutes, you, you couldn't even fill yeah, yeah, yeah. 60 seconds of content. 
<laughs> but um, yes, hopefully we can get back to comedy soon. Yeah, is the answer. So, but I have no idea when. Yeah, whenever the world goes back to yeah. normality. Well, hopefully, yeah. there is no second wave, and things can just gradually. Yeah, yeah thank so God I've got yeah. like podcasts and videos. Otherwise, I'd just be hanging out, <laughs> playing with my dick. I don't know what I'd be doing. Yeah. <laughs> Search yeah. history. Yeah. Search history. I'm going to say that, <laughs> that, is, that, is, that is the search history of a man in the middle of a world pandemic. <laughs> that is a man at his... It. It'll get even drier when things point. are back to normal and you're back at work. It'll be like, it, it sorry man, I have no thoughts. But yeah. just, what have you guys been like, doing, Durant? Uh, we've been working on this. Yeah. We actually just started it before... Uh, Lockdown. Never yeah, yeah, that's over right. Yeah. Zoom. Yeah, exactly. Ages, so. uh, yeah. It's annoying. But that made yeah. it easier though, because then we had a couple yeah. of guests at that time. I thought, yeah. fuck, this is easy. We just got to, you know, oh, record that. the screen. We were like mm. getting guests in that we'd never usually get on because I don't live in Melbourne or yeah. whatever. So we were just like, oh, this is a great yeah. opportunity to mm. get on people that, you know, otherwise yeah. wouldn't even bother to hit up. That's right. Yeah. Well, thanks a yeah. lot for coming in today, man. Thanks for having me. We were like, Thinking, you know, when when you see the message, like, oh, I want to do a, you know, chat via Zoom, and you're like, hang on, where do you guys film? Well, I just like, I don't know. I just looked at your thing. I was like, oh, if they're from Melbourne, then maybe yeah, come in. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's just I'd rather just do it properly, you know. Yeah. 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 Like doing. I'm sick of doing shit over Zoom. I think that's what it is. I think I did Mm. so many podcasts over Zoom during those three months that I'm done with it. I think John and I just got really sick of the delays. Yeah, like, yeah, like a yeah. smidgy yeah. delay, and someone would be talking, and then all of a sudden, think, oh, he's talking over me. I'll stop. Yeah, and, and it was a massive stop. lull. Yeah. Just... Cut out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. everyone would just mm. be quiet for a second. It's like, oh, you want to continue? Or yeah, because you're like... trying not to talk over each other. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. yeah. definitely harder. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, I'm sick of doing it. Let's yeah. just do it in person. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, no worries, man. Thanks now, for um... the pizza slice as well before we yeah, started. No Very generous boys. Yeah, we didn't spoil your dinner too much. Yeah, no, it's fine. I Meg will probably be furious, but um. Now, Joel, you had <laughs> something you wanted to uh, clarify with Luke, something that happened at the Loogies, well, after the Loogies, post-Loogies, mm. at the, the yeah, Waterhole, yeah. wasn't it? Okay. The pub? You, know the, you know the pub? The Waterfront? We... Waterfront. Yeah. That's waterfront. That's what waterfront. it was called. <laughs> we, we... Oh, that sounds like a strip club. <laughs> so, after, oh, man, it's, it's actually next to a strip club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's next to like about four. <laughs> we had to go down this, like, dark alley thing, and there's, like, this, you know, yeah. mattress. Yeah, it was dodgy, odd, like, wasn't it? Stained yeah. filled mattress. Security pointing us up. Yeah, that was my camera's dead. Yeah, so after jump on, jump on. Um, After the show, we were going out for beers with our audience members, um, just because I'm uh, like you, functionally alcoholic, and that's a lot of fun. (laughs) That's right. Um, Any excuse? No, it's just a thing. We just thought end of year. um, We really appreciate all the people who listen to our podcast, and like it's cool to meet. I like meeting the people who like listen. I don't know why not. It was was pretty busy that night. Oh, it was. Yeah, like, yeah, there must have been was. a function previous because there was some fucking pumpers. Yeah. Or maybe they're just locals, man. They just go there. Every I think day. that's just a King Street vibe. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, I feel like I've done something wrong here. Oh, oh you've waited till the you. end. It's not you. You've it's, baited me into. To, no, it's, it's, this is it's the real you. reason we had yeah. you. Yeah. It's not you. It's me. <laughs> I'm happy. Um, I, I um had a lot of drinks that night, Don't and lie. um, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. I don't, I don't know when you came. Maybe about twelve, twelve-ish one, maybe. When you came in? No. No, a bit earlier? We, we, we made it maybe half an hour because we were packing up after the show. Yeah. But no, we yeah. came there pretty... The show finished at like 10.30. 30. 10.30. Oh, yeah, true. We had yeah. to do a meet so, and greet. Yeah, you know, it might have been 11.30 after. Yeah. Okay, yeah. probably was late. Around there. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we had some beers and we were already pretty yeah. <laughs> sloshed waiting up there. And um, I think when you came or something, everyone, you know, everyone started like swarming around and stuff. So right. we didn't really get to... Have a chat or anything, but um. Oh, you guys, why'd you stay? Oh, I felt so bad. You should have. No, no, it's hey, right, you've got to get in. Pick your mind. Oh, we we could not trust. It was. No, that it, was. We that could. Was yeah. We could not. And plus, we had these uh, locals that were like pushing us, like pushing us, going, "Oh, what are you doing?" I'm like, "Oh man, we're just here for." Yeah, local right. Local. Just trying to like who? I'm like, okay. Yeah. So, trying not to get in a fight on King Street. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> so um, we decided, you know what, we might as well just like head off or something. And then mm. I think oh, as I was leaving. I think you turned around and said something to me. You're like, oh, you're leaving. And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then I think I gave you a shackers, but I wasn't mm-hmm. sure if I gave you a shackers or yep. I did that. Because <laughs> uh-huh. so, yeah. I know you're <laughs> yeah. you I was like, I like that you've thought about this for seven months. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I yeah, wouldn't yeah. have even noticed it. Oh, man. And you're like, like yeah, oh, man. fuck. And then, I, then I walked off. I was like, did I like flip him off or did I give him a shackers? Because I was meaning to give you a shackers, but I had no idea. And it's just been manifesting. Like, you know what, man? I've thought about that every day. And I'm it. glad you yeah. brought this up. That's the yeah. reason you agreed. That's, that's why I came here. I came here to end it. Like, yeah. just on the way out tonight, I was like, oh, see you, man. 
<laughs> and then he would have been like, he realised. He knows. He knows. He knows. But uh, yeah, I was. I think I was. I was gone that night. Like I was completely gone. Oh, so that's man. why I wasn't sure if I was doing the pinky or man, I was doing the, the middle The fact finger. that you attempt to hit a shack after Should've being eight right. beers deep. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you had been like, yeah. fuck you, man, I would have been like, well, probably just some guy on King Street. I deserve yeah, that. I probably looked at his girlfriend. I don't know. Like, I, you know what? I, I probably just didn't do anything. And then Shut I would. Up. I, I was probably yeah. breathing in his vicinity. I would have been like, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. My bad. <laughs> well, um, I hope that resolves the issue. Yeah. I didn't notice. But, um, That's good. Just I'm, don't I'm fairly again, sure I popped sure the shackers. Yeah. Just, okay. I just couldn't stop thinking, did I not oh, Thank God we resolved that. I was so, stressed. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I was just... I was well, you, glad, glad, yeah, I'm glad we could clear You're that up. You're probably stressed that's about it too. Yeah, yeah. I was scared for his sake. I'm thinking, you know what, Luke? That's, um, I said, Joel, I'm going to sit over here in case, you know... In case stuff like happens, you know, you might exactly. throw some fists at me. Yeah. You might be yeah, mad. That's right. Dude, why'd well, you flip me off? Yeah. 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 I know you're a bit quiet the first half of the podcast. That's why yeah. you were like, should I say it? I, yeah, I yeah. Know. I was like, do I I'll interject back, now? No. I was like, should I say, hey? Yeah. Did I flip you off? But no, I'll just... That's good. You know, keep it so, nice and chill. Just let the conversation flow and then leave it up. And I, I appreciate yeah. that. It's respectful. That's it. Yeah. How would you cool. feel, by the way? I, I know we should be wrapping this up. I was going to say, how would you feel about meeting all the fans that night? Was oh, we like, I used or? to um meet... Like, we used to always meet people, like, after the show, like, you know, take photos with everyone. Because, yeah. like, I think, you know, when, you, when you're doing, like, 200, 300 people, there's no excuse to, like, wait around. And it's, like, an hour of my time. It's not... I'm like, I'm that busy where I'm like going home. Oh, guys, I'm going to go head off in my private jet. <laughs> Thank yeah. you for coming out. I've yeah. got to head off. And um, no, I don't look like JK Rowling. So there's no one that wants to suck my dick or no, anything no after the show. So, um, no, I just think it's fun. I just lo- I really enjoy meeting people and I'd like to show people that we appreciate it because we do. Because otherwise I wouldn't be able to have this as my job if it wasn't for those people. So you got to take some time to... It's almost my f- something like I, I often enjoy it as much as the show. I just like yeah. talking to people, having fun. People like bring you stuff and like they sign no, and right, like yeah. people you have sign stories. Their and stuff yeah, and I sign yeah. mate's forehead. Or something always interesting happens, so I love it. And um, nights like that is even better because when it's a few less people, it's probably like 20, 30 people there. You can actually like talk to people one on one, have a mm. beer, and uh, yeah, exactly. there's yeah. nothing more down to earth than just a beer. smashing a beer with some stranger <laughs> you've just met. You know, yeah. so good. I love that shit. Was well, that the craziest thing you've done? Was signing Casey's forehead? Um, at the time, because that's like a year or so ago. Oh, uh, I was into it like with a fan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, there's been a few weird ones to sign. Um, a guy that's once got me to sign like. Some people just get me to sign shit. It's not even a reference to my thing. They'll be like, hey, man, can you sign my Jurassic Park DVD from like... <laughs> or it's like a VHS. <laughs> I, I, I once signed a VHF... Of, of, of VJ, what is that? VJ, VHS? I VJ? can't speak. It's been a long day, all right? That's um, right. Of, what's that show, The Last Dinosaur? What's that uh, cartoon dinosaur show? The Land Before Time. Oh, classic. Yes. Yes. And they're like, can you sign my Land Before Time DVD? I was like, yeah, but why? And he was like, man, I just thought... You could sign that. And I was like, okay, like, have I ever referenced this on a show? He's like, no, I don't think so. And I was like, okay, I'm just a little confused. And he's yeah. like, why? And I was like, because no one's ever bought a Lamb Before Time VHS to a show. No you know, stuff. some people are like, hey, man, can you sign this poster or a T-shirt? Or even, like, on the tambourine tour, a few people bring in tambourines. Well, we'll want to do this. You said that, Luke. Uh, oh, we've got oh, a Planet of the Apes VHS tape that's just been sitting under this computer yeah. the entire time. Would you mind? Uh, I'm happy to sign it. Yeah. This is officially there the we weirdest go. one. Great. Would you like me to sign the top? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Great. Can you add this to the podcast set? Definitely. Just for, just, just yeah, for the yeah. next episode. Well, we've got just a, for one a, a little area here with all the alcoholic beverages and that. that can Great. Just, can I even right just there. lean it above the phone. You can go next to Shrek. Hey, yeah. It mightn't be in shot, but that's Oh, okay. yeah, definitely. Go next to Shrek. Oh, yeah, put it next Shrek. to Shrek. Yeah, yeah. Just keep it there for one episode and then take it down once you regret it. Ah, uh, yeah. very oh, nice. nice. We'll keep Perfect. It. We'll keep it. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> Shrek and old mate. So, yeah, Wonderful. that was yeah. a bit crazy, I guess. But Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I don't get, like, the thing of... um. I don't know. We're not famous, so it's like it's just like having beers with like I don't know, just a guy you've met. Just like a yeah, 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 it's yeah. fun. It's just fun, and yeah. it's fun to make people feel included. And well, see that first it. night uh, we came and saw you. I think that back in April last year, we were like so overwhelmed just by the fact that like, as soon as we walk in there, Fairbairn boys to our right, 
Frenchie's wandering around. Yeah, yeah. Josh Wade comes out, and then we see you, and then also Lewis opening for you. And then I think at one point Lewis actually came out behind us to film something. Yeah, it was Gillen like wow, well. all of these people who we who we love to watch, right? And actually seeing them. Yeah, I guess it's amazing. like it was, weird. I was weirded out the first mm. time I met everyone. Yeah, I think because I was a fan. Like I was, mm. I was just like, oh man. Like well, first time I met Alex, I was like, this is so weird. Like I've been watching this guy for years. And yeah. then you're just like, I don't know, every, it's just a job. It's just a cool job. It's like, mm. I'm a comedian. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, what, what are you, Frenchie's a comedian. I'm trying to what give are you, you fucking get, good content. Get, get, get some was, cool that shots. That was fine, man. <laughs> hey, this is like the after show. I mean, this Video is your guys lost. You, I was going to say you employed. You didn't I'm not employ. getting paid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is my That's stable. It, man. Yeah, he's trying to add his own creative spin on this camera work, but it is... He's doing the office kind of stuff. He's just zooming straight in the... Yeah, hang on. I'll do like a gym. No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been watching it lately. That's all he does. He just goes... Do a gym. the camera. Yeah. And then darts his eyes away. Have you seen The Office, Brandon? I think... Is this for the first four this seasons? This is not good for your audio it? listeners. <laughs> no, it's <not. laughs> no, it's all right. Yeah, well anyone, questioning why anyone listening, yeah, get, get onto the YouTube video. This is this is way more exciting. You know, like, fucking... How they do it? Like, um, Trailer Park Boys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 they got a very similar... Yeah. yeah. Filming Fair style. Enough. Yeah, good work, Billy. But, but I also wanted to fucking debut the Shaka Socks on the podcast. Oh, oh. that's oh, why I'm sweet. fucking doing it. Um, that's oh, very okay. nice. It's not uh, merch. I just own these socks. Oh, okay, I was gonna say. Could, could, I could tried to do Shaka plug? Socks, yeah. but after the sock debacle we've had on Luke and Lewis, yes. it's not worth it. I was surprised um, you didn't show up in your fucking. I was wearing them yesterday, <laughs> and I try not to wear them out of the house that much because well, they right. are terrible socks. Please no, do buy them though. They're great socks. Do buy the socks. No, only twenty bucks. You give us like a. Uh, some kind of, I don't know, discount or um, it's just a matter of like uh, the uh, no, but they're, they're, they're good quality though. Um, they? That's the that's the thing. That's the, they're great yeah. quality socks. Yeah. But um, I my reckon me doing your favor would be actually saying don't buy them. Mm. They are horrendous. But but for, also for, take for off having, our hands. and for having you here, I think it's probably the least we could do is. Purchase something. No, not you really. Guys, you no, gave me should. pizza. I should probably give you a discount. Oh, really? No, one no. slice. Yeah. You want to go home with the rest of the box? Then we can call it even. One pair of socks. This has turned into some <laughs> negotiation <laughs> shit, man. No, What's no, going on? Hang on. <laughs> Don't shut it down. I'm, con- I'm <laughs> considering it. Yeah. Uh, there's also Good some. Pizza. There's also uh, some garlic bread there as well mm. that hasn't been opened. Oh, so yeah, no, no yeah. fingerprints over there at all. Talking. Mm. Yeah. Is there any perps you left? Can I ask why you ordered so much? Um. Oh, because we got three of us. Here and then the yeah. uh, the three up there. Okay. So it was. Uh, and there was leftovers. Yeah. Mm. So I do have I do have dinner waiting for me when I go home. Um, but this could always feed you tomorrow. Uh, you can have dinner for dinner. It's like uh, like true. what is it? Um, Pre Samwise Gamzy. What about second breakfast? No. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Or as my dad would say, yeah, cook it up for breakfast. Um, the... You know what? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> for, oh my god! Just to spite. <laughs> Lewis, because I know he'll hate that I've made a personal deal that benefits him, Ooh. that benefits me and not him. Yeah. Happy to take that deal. Hey! Right. Yeah. Shake, on it. Shake on it. Good. Sounds Shake good. On. One pair of so- one pair of socks. One pair of socks. Okay, you guys yep. can split them between. All right. <laughs> Sounds good. You, can have a black you get it one sock. Okay. That's, that's good yeah. content. Yeah, I reckon. Great. One pair of socks for right. uh, I'd pay and the garlic that. bread and the garlic bread. Yeah, Great. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Deal. Sounds Fuck good. All right. And on that note, we'll end it there. Anything you want to plug, Luke? Um. Yeah, buy a socks. Why don't I have to keep making pathetic deals for free pizza? <laughs> just, just take them off our hands because people have leverage against me and it's annoying. <laughs> Great. LukeMills5.com nice. slash merch. We have terrible socks if you want to purchase them. Go get Put it. it up here. Most people would plug something good, but I'm just like, nah. Yeah. Socks. Fair enough. Socks. The quality of this buy podcast. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll end it there. We'll uh, see you next Tuesday. Hey, that means cunt. See you, guys. Ah, oh, it does. I just realized that. That's yeah. What the fuck <laughs> are you doing, man? I'm not getting paid for this! <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean you making the shit, shit up, man. Yeah. Hello, viewers of the Skeptic and the Dude podcast. I am here to let you know that if you don't subscribe slash follow, you ain't getting to heaven. Peace out. <laughs>